5, the latest on the investigation into racist graffiti at Connecticut College that for, forced the classes to be canceled there today. That college in New London is talking to News 8 about what happened. News 8's Tina Detell has the very latest. This auditorium was so packed that people were actually standing out here in the hallway looking in at the forum. Now, while there were no classes here today, a lot of folks tell us there was still a lot of learning going on. It's cowardly to say hateful things anon anonymously. Connecticut College President Catherine Bergeron promising change, a mandatory forum after racial slurs were written on walls in two bathrooms at the student center. This all comes a week after concern over a professor's post comparing the Gaza Strip to a rabid pit bull chained in a cage, regularly making mass efforts to escape. Because on this very day, last week on Wednesday, no one condemned hate speech. No one said directly that the college does not condone the speech that we discussed. It opened the door for white supremacy to come back. We need to make sure that when those wounds do heal, that we heal stronger and better and tougher than we've ever been before. I have been blind to the fact that racism, racist acts occur in communities like ours. After hearing stories after stories, I really do think there needs to be a change. I don't really know what that change is yet. The school is working on a list of changes, which include hiring a dean of institutional equity and revision and looking into how it handles bias incident reports. Your needs are not put first. And we need to fix that. I really enjoyed how it was a mandatory thing because what we talked about yesterday was the people that have been showing up for these things are not the people that need the, um, to hear it. As you can see, they are now setting up for the next forum, which will take place. And this conversation is expected to continue well beyond these events. In fact, the president will be available for open hours on Tuesday as well. In New London, Tina Detell, News 8.